Governor Rick Snyder says he has a plan to reinvent public safety in Michigan. That plan is to cut crime in the four major cities of Detroit, Pontiac, Flint, and Saginaw. Those cities are listed as among the top 10 worst cities in the country for crime. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn sat down with the governor this afternoon in a one-on-one -on -one interview. Dave, what do you have to say? Well, Joanne, the governor wants to beef up the state police to help those cities in particular battle crime. It's all part of a comprehensive plan, 34 initiatives in all, that the governor will take to the legislature. He's calling it smart justice. This is really starting that dialogue to say, how do we partner together, recognizing it's not the state of Michigan to solve every problem, but every level of government needs to be involved, and we need to get our citizens involved, too. You anticipate... Uh, push back from this or is this a message that the legislature uh, is going to embrace? No, I believe they'll embrace it because I, if you look at a lot of this is common sense stuff because too often when you do statewide efforts everybody thinks they need their own little piece of this and I don't want to see that happen because it would get spread so thin it probably wouldn't make a difference anywhere versus saying let's do smart justice comprehensive data-driven greatest need and prioritize show results there and then it can spread across the state in a very thoughtful rational way on the question of an emergency financial manager for the city of Detroit Snyder acknowledges the clock is ticking I think I've been steadfastly consistent this entire time to say I don't want an emergency manager um, that's not a good situation and so what I really believe should happen is a consent agreement which makes a lot of sense if you stop and think about it to say, shouldn't we have an agreement between the city with the mayor and the city council being part of it with the state on how we can partner together? Because again, the city is responsible for running the city, but I would like to have more resources that we can partner with them on to help solve problems, to be more proactive, to be more aggressive about making sure our citizens get basic services. We need to focus in on how do we help someone get on a bus in the morning? How do they have a good school? How do they have lighting? All those kind of questions and ultimately the job question. So a consent agreement would be the best vehicle for us to be more proactive. I'm just hoping the city will embrace that and really say ask us to come help and ask anyone else to help. And the governor says the ultimate decision on Detroit's financial future is coming within 30 days. Stephen, Joanne. Now we're all waiting to hear about that, Dave. Thanks so much.